I'm doing 50 kilometers an hour according to 54 kilometers an hour according to GPS. Welcome folks, it's Nick here. It's day... I'm not sure what day. Very odd to think of. It's being pestered by wasps. And uh, these horsefly things all over the bike. Anyway, just leaving motel. Tassouche. Camina or Jacko or something. Oh, there we go. This is where we were. Oh, no, we weren't there at all. We were Nietzsche, Stravinska. Well, now we know. And. <laughs> Cricket hanging on to my Garmin. Anyway. Yesterday I had a bit of an epiphany and made the decision as to where I'm going. So, in reality, if I look on a map, I'm sort of parallel, almost, with Folkestone, which is where I get the uh, Euro Tunnel from Calais to Folkestone. So there isn't a great deal of north in it. And I could have gone north, could go up to Gdansk or something like that, but actually, I'm feeling homeward bound now, and so I'm just going to head west. Now I'm trying to keep off these main drags as much as possible. I used a combination of Google Maps and Garmin and such like to try and trigger a route to Dunkirk. And then when I get to Dunkirk, I'll head west a little bit further to you. Calais to the Euro Tunnel. That's still probably it's about 1400, 1500 kilometres to Dunkirk. Maybe not quite so many, depending on how many miss routes I do. And then from there it's sort of a huge amount back to Calais. Anyway, that's the plan. So I'm still not treating it as homeward on my way home, it's just homeward bound. Still can't get to grips with these speed limits. They seem to be ignored by some. Completely. Um. Cricket, I would suggest you get off that GPS device whilst we're doing 50 rather than fast. Go! Go now! Probably your last chance. Mm. Oh. Back to the road. It's a bit of an overcast day today. The hotel I stayed at last night, anyway, was 125 zloty, which I think was about £24, but that included breakfast. So 125 Zloty. The night before the campsite I was at, if I'd gone for electricity, because um, they sort of charge for, oh, how many people are you? Oh, you have a tent? Oh, you have a motorcycle? Oh, and it sort of all adds up. It would have been 90 Zloty before that after you have to make your own bed, you have to build your own home and cook on your breakfast. Riding through some of the smaller roads heading west. This really feels humid today. I'm looking ahead over there. Looks quite grey.
Yes, the town was sick off and then the battery expired. And the next fire point is Strepanica. Or words to that effect. As I say, I'm just using these as routing points to try and keep me off the main tracks. Seems to be working. It's a lot slower, but then I'm in no hurry, so it doesn't really matter. I'm doing 50 kilometers an hour according to 54 kilometers an hour according to GPS. I don't know what you was doing there to catch up. But that's an amazing thing. Look at it. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's the next thing. Uh, I don't know where I put the tent. This is our via point, Stripnitsa. vehicles you really wouldn't want to be behind. The size of that. Ooh. Found a bend. Not been many. The fuel light has just come on. Oh, it's not fuel lights, it's a blinking thing. So it's not very bright. And I think we've probably done about 450 kilometers from this tank. But it's an average, it was saying, about 2.9 litres petrol station in 5 kilometers. So I think I'll stop at that one. This petrol station, hopefully, they've got some food because it's gone lunchtime. Quite hungry. LPG is really popular here. The number of cars I've seen filling up with LPG. Anyway, for that, fill up by Ken Me, I hope. Well, it took 14 litres at 457 kilometres. Okay, looks like there's a man who's meant to fill your tank for you. But he was nowhere to be seen when I pulled in, so... Job done now. That's an interesting 
thing. What is it? Gatehouse? Don't quite know what it is. And then just to the right, over there, that's a hot little tower. Stood on its own. like a battleship. Peculiar. Not sure what liquid this chap is carrying, but whatever it is, is dripping out the tap at the bottom there. Badly. These towers are <coughs> need little power, not power stations, what are they called? I can't think of the word. I've seen a few now. The Garmin has taken us off the main drag, which is quite nice, and onto a rather nice little road. I've seen YouTube videos where people sort of ride through these little villages and wave and somebody waves back all smiling jovially. <laughs> Which must be to do with my face because <laughs> I just get grumpy looking responses typically. Unless it's kids and then they just want you to rev the engine but of course this hasn't got a super exhaust on it or high revving bike so more stalks. There's a complete look though of <clears throat> disgruntled dismay. Should we go through their village? Mind you, I don't know whether I'd, if it was Smiley Way or somebody drove through my village. Another road closure just by way of a change. Sort of brought me round here, so it's not too bad, I think, because I wouldn't have seen these. Oh gee, I don't know where I'm going. Checked into a hotel for tonight. Again, find it difficult to find camping sites. I'm not really on a touristy type of route. Oh, no entry there. I'll take it there then. Let's just pull in here for now. Anyway, today generally travelling west 
we travelled 310 kilometres and uh, nothing really much to report today just sort of rooting along town by town and stopped a couple of times had an ice cream in one place had a pizza ciabatta pizza in another place and uh, go and see what this hotel's like I think this one's about 33 pounds for the night but that doesn't include breakfast but then we are travelling west now and things are getting more expensive anyway all that leaves me to do is say bye for now <laughs>